Hey guys, Technivers here. Exciting news for Kira fans today. About two, three hours ago, they released the beta version of Kira 4.5, which means in about two to three weeks, they are going to drop the release version of Kira 4.5. Now, I am diving into Kira 4.5 today um, to go on a bug hunt and look for problems because those are things they try to suss out before the actual release. So, what we're going to do is just hop in make some comparisons and poke around a little bit firstly though I wanted to show you this is Ultimaker Kira 4.4.1 this is the current version um, the current full release version that is not in beta and as you can see right here it says 4.4.1 and if I go up here and go to what's new it tells me what's new however this is 4.5 you can see right here and you can see that it is a beta and if I go in here and go to what's new, it doesn't tell me. So they haven't updated the release notes yet, which is fine. This is still in beta. That's something that will come before they put out the final version. Um, but that makes it hard to tell what exactly is new in Kira 4.5. So what I have done is left them both open here. And we are going to make some comparisons. I have the same model imported in both. We're going to change to the same printer in both. If it'll ever change there we go and we're gonna go through and just kind of check and see if they changed anything so scaling looks the same this mirror button here uh, was in the last version but I haven't tried it yet so if you want to see what the mirror does uh, it basically flips it on an axis like that so if you want to just turn it upside down uh, it's a little bit easier to use than the rotate to build plate feature. And then, of course, they have the individual model settings for normal model, print as support, modify overlaps, don't support overlaps, mesh type is normal. So um, all of this stuff is pretty standard. Uh, also in 4.4.1, they have the support blocker option here and that is available in 4.4.1 as well so nothing new there uh, it looks like the settings up here are pretty much all the same report a bug this right here is something you should get familiar with if you're having problems with Kira or experiencing buggy interactions or having issues with your profiles or things like that make sure that you file a report because that's how they become aware of things and how they fix things so um, other than this I'm not seeing anything that is too amazingly stand out as new so let's go ahead and slice this see if we get any anything new in the preview mode here Okay, um, so I do not have spiralize turned on, and it is giving me a cap on my model here, which I don't like, but. Uh, normally I print this in vase mode. It is a vase, so not a biggie. Uh, the interface is looking exactly the same so far. Um, and there's the x-ray view. Now we've seen this in... Uh, Creality Slicer haven't played around with it much in Kira itself, but it does come in handy if you're doing something with models that are intersecting each other. So this is just a random piece, but then you can see easier how they interact with each other. And if you were to use the individual parts mode like this, like I said, this part to support. And 
slice. We're just gonna slice this up for fun here. And it is processing. It's gonna take a minute, so we'll just let that run. Monitor mode looks to be exactly the same. So I'm not seeing any major changes in Kira 4.5. What I am hoping for with this beta here is a little bit more stability. Now, um, it has been about three months since they've done an actual upgrade version, looking at four point from 4.4 to 4.5. So, um, Obviously, that does not denote any big changes. You can see my travel moves in here. Uh, and you can see that it's denoted that this is all support. So take a look at x-ray view. I don't know where that little cube came from. That's interesting. Doesn't actually seem to be anything there. So that's basically it guys just a heads up that Kira 4.5 is coming when they update with the release notes I will let you know exactly what has changed we will do another video going over it I'm going to continue to play around with this because I'm having fun haven't quite seen any settings that I didn't know about yet so we're going to keep digging and if I find anything I certainly will let you know but at the moment I am currently on the hunt for bugs so if you'd like to grab the Ultimaker Kira beta of version 4.5 I will put a link down below Remember, it is in beta, so there will be some issues, but if you would like to help hunt for bugs or submit reports, please feel free to do so, because the community is the reason that this, this slicer is so amazing. So the more people they get testing the beta and giving them feedback, the better the final version will be. And I am very much looking forward to downloading the final full version of 4.5 and seeing those release notes so I can see exactly what has changed. But that being said, Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video. Hit the bell for notifications. We'll make sure to notify you as soon as 4.5 is officially released. And then you can find out exactly what the differences are. And we would be happy to run through all of that with you as well. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.